Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about an important subject. We're going to talk about the virtue of gratitude. Now usually most people when they think of gratitude they think of Thanksgiving. But that's usually in the United States because Thanksgiving is a national holiday. It is only practiced in the United States. But gratitude is something that everywhere in the world every person can practice throughout the year. In the early 1990s, I started looking for information regarding gratitude. I had read some uh, different t topics and different books and, and so forth, and they had started to do research on how powerful gratitude um, is and was. And what they found in a lot of this information was from Michael McCullough, who was one of the leading researchers of this. And they found out a lot of incredible things. Uh, first of all, they found out that people who are, happy, uh, people who are grateful and express gratitude, that they're actually 25% happier. They found out the people who are grateful and keep a gratitude journal or at least express gratitude on a daily basis, that their immune system is higher, that they don't get sick as often, and if they're under a lot of stress or strain or pressure, that because they're grateful, they're able to bounce back quicker. A really interesting thing was they found that people who express their gratitude or write down their gratitude, that they actually on the average live nine years longer. And one of the big things as well is they found that gratitude helps with the biorhythms of the heart, that it keeps the, it stable, which is extremely important because the heart is the largest oscillator of the body. And so um, you want your heart in rhythm and in sync because it brings in all of the other rhythm and sync of all of our other organs into the same rhythm as the heart. And it makes us feel better. And it makes us so that we're not depressed or sad or anxious and all of those. So it's extremely important. Those are just some of the things. And later in the 21st century, they came out with a book called Thanks by Robert Emmons. And they go into the work of Emmons and also the work of McCullough that they have found on gratitude. So let me give you a few ideas of some things that you can do as parents and as a family to bring gratitude into your home and to teach your children this important virtue. First of all, I think the most obvious one, of course, is to keep a gratitude journal. There's a book that I read many years ago. It was called Simple Abundance by Sarah Van Brackna. And what I would suggest doing any time you read a book, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you read the introduction or the preface of the book, because that's usually where the author gets personal with you and it's like they're telling you personal aspects of their life so that you understand even greater the book that you're about to read. So she talks about a terrible accident that happened to her and what her recovery was and how it led her to write the book that she did. On January 14th, she talks about the importance of gratitude. And here's a couple of things that she said and that you may want to try as well. She said each day, first of all, you need to get a gratitude, book, gratitude journal and each day you write down three things that you are grateful for. And then write a couple of sentences to kind of enlarge on why you were grateful for that particular thing. She also said to say to be specific as possible. In other words, instead of saying, I'm grateful for my family, which family member are you particularly grateful for for that day? So write that person's name down and a couple of things. So instead of saying family, be more specific. Instead of saying I'm grateful for my home, be more specific. Or I'm grateful for my job, be more specific. And maybe in two or three years later after you go back and look at those things, maybe there's a different person in the family or a different aspect of the job or your home or whatever it is that you are now grateful for. So keeping a gratitude journal, many people attest to the fact of how it has changed their lives. Now there's all kinds of gratitude journal books on the market. Um, I met someone um, a couple of years ago, Sue Goodwin, and uh, she made me a gratitude journal. And it's beautiful and it has my name on it. And I had some made for my children as well who enjoy keeping gratitude journals. So keep that in mind. Um, the link to uh, looking at those gratitude journals um, is in the comments section below. And it's also on my blog because this week I'm talking about the importance of gratitude. Another thing you may want to try is something that a friend in California does. She has what's called a gratitude pumpkin. And every Thanksgiving uh, during the months of October and November, she has this pumpkin up by um, the front door of her house on a table with a big black marker. And she says that everyone who comes into her home during those two months, she has them write down something that they are grateful for. 
Now she's also asked them to look at the pumpkin and so if and to try and write something that's different from what everyone else is writing so that it's more varied and interesting. I love this idea and uh, let me just take a, a one step further. Now they have all different kinds of artificial pumpkins in all different colors, especially at this, the time of the year of October, November, they're, you know, the stores are packed full of them, particularly Michael's. Go and grab some of those artificial pumpkins. I know they have a turquoise one, they have white, they have brown, they have black, they have orange. Grab a few of them so that you can practice this particular activity throughout the year. Another thing that this is from a book that I'd read because uh, we had kept gratitude journals as a family for a little over 20 years and you know you kind of want to change things up a bit and I read this book A Simple Act of Gratitude. And what this author did is he had had as he puts it a year from hell and he decided that every single day he was going to write someone a gratitude note, a note of appreciation, somebody that he was grateful for that had impacted or influenced his life in some way. So he did it for a whole entire year. At the end of the year, he had written 365 notes. And then he continued on to the second and third and fourth and fifth year of writing these notes. And he said it changed his life. So that's what we started in October of um, 2013. I started writing notes to people. I haven't written a note every day, but um, here now in 2018, I've written almost a thousand notes to people and it is a life changer. So think about that. It does take a little bit more time, but with your children, maybe they don't have, certainly don't have to do it every day, but think about an influential teacher that they have had. Have them think about a teacher that has really made an impact on their lives. And me being a teacher, I will tell you that teachers love to receive notes of appreciation because they work super hard. So try that example out. Another thing is um, that we do is that every year, and you can do this throughout the year, it doesn't have to be just at Thanksgiving, but take some utility paper. Utility paper is this brown paper, and thank you Martha Stewart because now it comes in really extra long rolls, and you can cover your kitchen table with it and then supply crins and markers and pens and stationery and have each member of your family throughout the day tell them we want you to go and write your gratitude or draw your gratitude or do something because this is an activity we're doing uh, today as a family and so throughout the day as your children write and draw their gratitude then have a basket in the middle where they can take a little present or something a little thank you to remind them thank you you did this and you may even want to cut out the utility paper and keep it in a gratitude um, some kind of a gratitude journal or something that your family can look back on from year to year now we usually theme these and we um, our kids they they read and they like movies and so we would take either the title of a movie or a title of a song and that would be like our theme for instance um, this year it's black paper packages tied up with string. Now that's from the uh, the movie, um, The Sound of Music, and actually it's uh, my favorite things, which is brown paper packages tied up with string. So kind of change it up a bit. And then, like I mentioned, um, you want to have maybe, you know, a little, a little something. You can go to the dollar store. They don't have to be anything big, but you can have this, you know, basket in the middle where each child can take something from. Okay, another really interesting thing is I love children's art. I love my kids' art. I, I think I kept every piece of art since they were in preschool. So when they came out with scanners, this was a huge boom for me. I thought, oh my gosh, I love this thing. So what I started doing is I started scanning their arts because what I have done throughout the years um, is I write, I write notes of gratitude to my kids. And I would write them on stationery or note cards or something like this, but I love the idea that if I could scan their artwork and I could make a note card from their artwork, all their different types of artwork that, you, that they had, had done over the years, then this would make it more personal for them. And, and I, I love this idea. And what I did too is I gave them a letter box. And in this letter box is I told them, I says, okay, keep all of the notes and the cards and everything that you receive from me and your dad and pr friends and teachers and everything else and keep those. And on gloomy rainy days, you can go and you can read those. So think about your children's art. These are super easy to make. And then you can get the pre-made cards at Michael's and you just send them through your computer and voila, you have a card of your child's artwork. Now, if you want to talk, or learn more about letter boxes, there's a box or a book called The Letter Box. And this is interesting because it's actually a father writing notes and father and mother writing notes to their children and giving each 
child a letterbox so that they can put all of the notes and cards and everything that they receive. It's just a way of keeping it. So try that activity. And again, there's a lot more different things that I talk about on the blog. I also talk about in my blog a yarn activity where help, which helps your children to understand how the whole entire family, how you're connected and intertwined. You can go on my blog and read about that, but I want to leave you with a bonus fact rather than a quote. This is something that I think will really change your family. It's fun, it's interactive, and it's a, it's a great activity. Now, I actually had heard about this many, many years ago from a friend, and what you do is you take cardstock. Okay, so you take the cardstock, you can put anything you like at the top of it, like I am grateful for this person because, you can put some clip art with it, send it through your computer, and then what you want to do is you want to punch holes at the top of it and string a ribbon through it so the people can put it over their heads and then flip it to their backs. And then you have everybody in the family stand up with a pen or a marker and they go and they write on the person's back which has this note on it and they write about different things that they're grateful for that person for. It was such a huge hit in our family because they loved having them. They loved taking those notes and different things that their family members had uh, said about them. And what is really fun is if you do have a family activity where there's extended family, the more people, the merrier. I did this, did this with my college students at the end of the, um, each quarter. They loved it. And I pretty much did it at the end of class because once they had gone around and written things about their peers and their classmates, they didn't want to listen for the rest of the, the time. It's that powerful and it's something that they can keep with them. It's like that note that they receive from somebody. They can open it up, they can put it close to their heart, they can read it over and over again. So that is the bonus fact. Um, if you want to have get any more detailed information because I add actually 10 new things I blogged last year on gratitude. There were six things that I talked about. This year I've added 10 more things, activities and different things that you can do together as a family with your children. If you're enjoying these videos, which I hope you are, please click on the subscribe button below and also a little bell will come up and if you click on that then every time I post something new you will receive a notification. So I hope you're able to do that and we can continue with the fun. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.